Hi there, and welcome to module 1F of my Python course for beginners. If you've not enrolled already, please subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. So last time we looked at the idea of a for loop, where we said for name of something, let's call it index just for fun. It could have called it anything we want for the most part. For index in this list of stuff, the first time in the loop, it's going to take the value of the first thing, and so index is zero. Therefore, it's going to output the first item, which is one, and then it takes the value of one. It takes this takes value of one, it's going to output the second thing, and the third time it is going to take on this value, that is indexing with the third thing, is saying this item. Now, the idea of this name thing is actually huge, and if we highlight it and we go over it, it says an integer, which indexes two, don't really worry about the value, that's, that's not the point. It is an integer, it is a variable, meaning it is some name which we have attached to some value of interest. Now, how you would do this normally in ignoring loop syntax, although in the other tab, what this is doing is saying for create this variable called index, first set it to zero, then set it to one, then set it to two. We could do that exact same thing by first setting, let's say index is equal to, let's say index is one, and then we'll print one. Then we will say index is equal to two, and then we will print sorry, I meant to print index up there, that's obviously going to print one. Index is equal to one, print index, that'll print one. Now set index equal to two, print index, that will do two. And so we should see that we print one and two. This idea of a variable, it, we say it as a noun, like this is a variable, it is called index, this is my variable index, and so I set it equal to whatever I want, you can even change the type of it. So right now, if you ask the type of index. Now when you ask for index, it actually asks for its value. So it's saying, okay, it is one. Well, the type of index, well, it is an integer because it is basically one. But it doesn't always have to be an integer. You could set index equal to the string of hey. And now you could ask the type of index and it's equal to hey. Now, of course, the name index doesn't really make sense for this thing we would actually maybe make a different variable and say, hey is equal to hey. And the type of, sorry about that, type of hey is going to still be a string, but of course you could change it even maybe to a float. Let's set it to be 1.2 and we'll ask the type of hey, it is a float because if we just output hey, sorry about that, hey is 1.2. So the idea of a variable is huge. We are going to be using them all the time from here on. So I will see you in the next lecture.